The Vest APX Airway Clearance System is Baxter's new airway clearance device designed to provide non-invasive at-home therapy with all new comfort and ease. The Vest APX system is intended for pediatric to geriatric patients in the home care environment. This training video is designed to give you a system overview and provide instructions for use, including setup, use, and maintenance of the device. For additional details and information, please refer to the Vest APX system instructions for use or visit Baxter.com. The Vest APX system is made up of a control unit, a wearable vest garment, and two air hoses connecting them. Oscillating positive pressure air pulses are applied to the garment by the control unit. The resulting pressure pulses cause the garment to inflate and deflate against the chest of the patient, creating high-frequency chest wall oscillation and mobilization of bronchial secretions. This form of airway clearance therapy is referred to as high-frequency chest wall oscillation. Before you begin using your device, you'll need to ensure your garment fits correctly. The Vest APX system garment was designed to fit your body. Depending on your chest circumference, your physician, a Baxter trainer, respiratory therapist, or caregiver will select a suitable garment style and size. To measure for the correct size garment, if possible, start by standing for the measurement. Take a deep breath in and hold it. Hold one end of the tape measure at the largest part of your chest. If you're receiving assistance, have someone else hold the end for you. Wrap the tape measure under your arms and around your back until it meets the point where you are holding the tape measure. If you are helping someone, wrap around the back of the patient while allowing the measuring tape to wrap around the patient's chest, measuring under the patient's arms. Write down the chest circumference. Use the vest and wrap garment size tables to determine the correct garment size for you. The Vest APX system garment will be shipped to you in two pieces. Follow these steps to assemble the vest garment for sizes above 23 inches. Place the outer garment and the inflatable bladder on a flat surface. Unzip and open the bottom of the outer garment. Slide the inflatable bladder into the outer garment. Be sure you push the edges of the bladder out so it lies completely flat inside the garment. Put the air hose ports on the bladder through the air hose port openings of the garment and make sure they are held securely in place. Press the six snap-on buttons to attach the bladder to the garment and close the zipper. To begin the fitting process, put the vest on so that the air hose ports are in front and open the outer flap. Using the sizing strip can be helpful for you to find the ideal fit for your garment over and over again. Find the correct sizing placement for you from the sizing strip placement table in the IFU appendix and place the strip in the corresponding location on your vest garment. For example, if your chest circumference is 44 inches, place the sizing strip in the third position. The edge of the middle flap should be aligned with the edge of the sizing strip. Do not overlap the middle flap with the sizing strip. Place the outer flap over the top of the middle flap. Your vest garment is now fitted to you. Adjust the shoulder straps so that the armholes fit snugly. Ensure proper fit by sliding a flat hand between the garment and body before it is inflated. No more than a fist width should be able to fit as too loose of a fit can lead to ineffective therapy. Once the fit is good, start the device to evaluate the fit during therapy. The Vest APX system garment will be shipped to you in three pieces. Follow these steps to assemble the vest garment for sizes 16 to 19 inches. Place the outer garment and the inflatable bladder on a flat surface. Open the flap on the bottom of the outer garment. Slide the inflatable bladder into the outer garment. Ensure you push the edges of the bladder out so it lies completely flat inside the outer garment. Put the air hose ports through the air hose port openings of the outer garment and make sure they are held securely in place. To begin the fitting process, put the garment on so that the air hose ports are in front of the patient as shown. 
Attach the closures so the garment fits loosely over the chest. Adjust the shoulder straps so that the armholes fit snugly. You should be able to fit a flat hand between the garment and the body before you inflate the garment. The Vest APX system garment will be shipped to you in two pieces. Follow these steps to assemble the vest garment for sizes 19 to 23 inches. Place the outer garment and the inflatable bladder on a flat surface. Open the zipper at the bottom of the outer garment. Put the inflatable bladder into the outer garment. Be sure you push the edges of the bladder out so it lies completely flat inside the outer garment. Put the air hose ports through the air hose port openings of the outer garment and make sure they are held securely in place. Press the six snap-on buttons to attach the bladder to the outer garment. Close the zipper at the bottom of the outer garment. To begin the fitting process, put the garment on so that the air hose ports are in the front. Place the sizing strip in the correct location on the sizing panel, based on the patient's chest circumference. Place the middle flap next to the sizing strip on the sizing panel. Make sure that the middle flap is aligned next to the sizing strip. Place the outer flap over the middle flap. Adjust the shoulder straps so that the armholes fit snugly. You'll know the garment fits properly if you can slide a flat hand between the garment and body before the garment is inflated. The wrap garment will be shipped to you in two pieces. Follow these steps to assemble the garment. Place the outer wrap and the inflatable bladder flat. Open the zipper at the end of the outer wrap. Put the inflatable bladder into the outer wrap. Be sure you push the edges of the bladder out so it lies completely flat inside the outer garment. Put the air hose ports through the air hose port openings of the outer wrap. Make sure they are held securely in place and close the zipper. To wear the wrap garment, first hold one end of the wrap garment across the chest and pull the other end under your arms and around your chest. Attach the wrap garment so that it fits snugly around your chest. Make sure the angled end tab is pointing towards the space between the air hose ports. Press the Velcro brand closure to make sure the hold is secure. You should be able to fit a flat hand between the garment and the body before you inflate the garment. Setting up your control unit is easy. First, place it on a dry, flat, and hard surface away from curtains, blankets, or any heat-generating devices. Insert the power cord into the power inlet on the back of the control unit and the plug into an applicable power outlet. Slide the metal ring end of each air hose into each air hose port on the front of the control unit. Slide the double O-ring end of each air hose into the air hose port on the garment. Slightly twist the hose while pushing it into the garment air hose port to make sure it is correctly inserted. You're now ready to start using your device. The Vest APX system can be used in basic mode and advanced mode. With basic mode, only one therapy program is available. By default, it is the My Therapy program, which consists of a personalized programmed therapy setting. In advanced mode, you'll see additional programs. The devices are shipped with pre-programmed default protocols. Please consult your healthcare provider before utilizing or making changes to these programs. Power the control unit on by pressing the power button on top of the device. To begin, make sure that the device is in basic mode. Basic mode will only display one programmed therapy, My Therapy. See the VEST APX system instructions for use for information about enabling or disabling basic mode. Starting therapy in basic mode is as easy as tapping the start control on the display. To pause the therapy, tap the pause control on the display. To resume the therapy, tap the start control again. To stop and exit the therapy, tap the stop and exit therapy control on the display. 
A prompt asking if you would like to stop therapy appears. Tap yes to confirm, otherwise tap no to cancel. When therapy is complete, a summary screen appears with details about the recent therapy session. Tap OK to exit and return to the home screen. Make sure that the device is in advanced mode before completing the steps in this section. The screen will show other therapy programs in addition to My Therapy when in advanced mode. See the VEST APX system instructions for use for information about enabling or disabling advanced mode. To begin your therapy in advanced mode, first tap the preferred program on the home screen, then tap the start control on the display. To pause the therapy, tap the pause control. To resume the therapy, tap the start control again. To stop and exit the therapy, tap the stop and exit therapy control on the display. A prompt asking if you would like to stop therapy appears. Tap yes to confirm, otherwise tap no to cancel. When therapy is complete, a summary screen appears with details about the recent therapy session. Tap OK to exit to return to the home screen. Consult your healthcare provider if you would like to change your therapy settings by adjusting the frequency, intensity, or duration. To do so, start by selecting the program to edit on the home screen, then tap Edit Therapy. Slide your finger across the screen at the location shown to unlock. If the password lock is enabled, you will be prompted to enter the four-digit password and tap Enter. Note, the password is the last four digits of the device serial number. If applicable, use the previous or next controls to select the therapy step to edit. Use these to add or delete a step before or after the current step. Select the therapy setting you want. The heading will display the name of the selected therapy setting. Tap the frequency setting and use the plus or minus controls to set the frequency value from a range of 5 to 20 Hz. Tap the intensity setting and use the plus or minus control to set the intensity value from a range of 1 to 10. Tap the duration setting and use the plus or minus controls to set the therapy duration anywhere from 1 to 60 minutes. To confirm all settings made, tap Save and Exit Settings. A confirmation screen will show asking if you wish to save the modification. Select Yes or No. If no changes are made to the settings, tap the Home or Unlocked icon to exit. For instructions to edit therapy in advanced mode, see the VEST APX system instructions for use. To allow for connectivity on the VEST APX system, tap the Options icon and tap Device Settings. On this screen, tap Connectivity and drag the Wi-Fi slider to On. The device will begin to scan for available networks. Once the scan is complete, the list of available networks will be displayed. If it does not, or if you would like to rescan, tap Scan. If prompted, enter the Wi-Fi network password and tap Enter. Once connected, the Wi-Fi network icon shows in the top right corner of the screen. Tap the Home icon to return to the home screen. To assure the most current data is synced to your device, follow these steps to make sure that the device is connecting successfully to the Connects Health Portal. Tap the Options icon, then tap Server Settings, and finally, Test Connection. If the connection is successful, a confirmation screen shows. Tap OK to exit. If the connection is unsuccessful, check the Wi-Fi network settings and try again. If the problem persists, contact Baxter Customer Service. To prepare for cleaning, turn off the control unit and unplug it from its power source. Disconnect the air hoses from the garment and the control unit. Thoroughly wipe down the control unit and air hoses, including the hose ends, using a clean, damp cloth and a mild household soap, solution, or alcohol. See the VEST APX system instructions for use for a list of compatible cleaning solutions. Make sure there isn't excessive moisture on the cloth before using it to clean the control unit. Do not steam or spray clean the unit or air hoses. Pressure and excessive moisture could damage it and its electrical components. Inspect the control unit and the air hoses to make sure there is no visible soil remaining. 
If necessary, repeat these steps. To clean the outer garment, first use a piece of clear tape to remove any lint and fluff caught on the Velcro brand closures. Only wash the outer garment after the bladder has been removed. We recommend reconnecting the Velcro brand closures on the shoulders and sizing panel before washing to help maintain the quality of your garment. You can hand wash the garment or machine wash it in a cold cycle only with detergent. Do not machine wash or dry the bladder. Hang or tumble dry the garment on your dryer's lowest temperature. Cool iron as necessary, but do not iron the logo design. See the garment fitting section of this video or the VEST APX system instructions for use for information about how to reassemble the garment after washing. Start cleaning the bladder by wiping it with detergent and warm water. Make sure to thoroughly clean the air hose connector port outlets. Do not use excessive liquid or harsh cleansers, and do not put the bladder in water or any solution. Remove any excess liquid with a dry cloth. With the VEST APX Airway Clearance System, you can expect the same high-frequency chest wall oscillation therapy you've trusted for 35 years with new comfort and simplicity. To learn more about the VEST APX system, visit Baxter.com. For comprehensive support, the CARE Connects program by Baxter is here to help. The CARE Connects program team members can assist you with a variety of services, including device training and configuration, customer service, and product support. Call 1-800-426-4224 to speak to a team member.